first enters the body through the mouth or nose and quickly moves to the pharynx or throat. From there, the air passes through the larynx or voice box and enters the trachea. The trachea is a strong tube that contains rings of cartilage that prevent it from collapsing. Within the lungs, the trachea branches into a left and right bronchus, which further divide into smaller and smaller branches called bronchioles. The smallest bronchioles end in tiny air sacs called alveoli, which inflate during inhalation and deflate during exhalation. Gas exchange is the delivery of oxygen from the lungs to the bloodstream and the elimination of carbon dioxide from the bloodstream to the lungs. It occurs in the lungs between the alveoli and a network of tiny blood vessels called capillaries, which are located in the walls of the alveoli. Here, you see red blood cells traveling through the capillaries. The walls of the alveoli actually share a membrane with the capillaries. That's how close they are. This makes it possible for oxygen and carbon dioxide to diffuse or move freely between the respiratory system and the bloodstream. Oxygen molecules attach to red blood cells, which travel back to the heart. At the same time, the carbon dioxide molecules in the alveoli are blown out of the body with the next exhalation. Gas exchange allows the body to replenish the oxygen and eliminate the carbon dioxide, both of which are necessary for survival.